I'm curious to know if you think that um, the fact that audiences are now everywhere, um, has it impacted the stories that you can tell that you think you can sell? No. I think good stories sell no matter what. Um, you know, whether it's a classic African tale or Aesop's fables or anything, good stories sell, period. Um, my documentary, the first international, international territory that bought it, and they bought it quickly, was Israel. Why would Israel care about a black pimp that became a writer? And then Spain. These countries don't speak English. That's not their main language. So, <clears throat> no, I think good stories are, great, are, are good stories. And I think that the African American community has not been um, mined for those stories. And so they're fresh. And that perspective and that culture is still fresh. Um, the world's fascination with black culture has been for. Uh, for many, many years. But it's had certain times where it's had explosive growth. Um, and rap music was one of those times that it had explosive growth. Because black music was not art, it was a culture. Mm -hmm. They made music different the way everybody else made music, by using other records and by using drum machines. They didn't sing, they talked over records. That was not something that was popular. Um, and they told stories that people were not telling stories about. Black music was not telling the same stories, R&B music, that rap music was. That connected with people because people ultimately are hungry for stuff that is new and different. And if it's inspiring, then they naturally evangelize that. 